So let me show you some other com again, guys. This is not um, Islam. It's common people, Muslims. Okay, so these are this, these are some opinions. Again, when I bring you some opinions of Muslims, like authors or important figures in Islam, that is not at all it should be used as a way to say that this is Islamic canon. Okay. But it just, because the only way you could show something Islamic canon is, is if you show the Quran, verses of Quran or maybe some um, authentic hadith like Sahih, Muslim Sahih Bukhari, right? But if I do show you that, like, this is something like I think like people like David Wood does, don't do very well because they showed like opinions or writings of Muslims and be like, oh, look, this is what Islam teaches. And yeah, you can't really do that because that's not really what Islam teaches, that's what some Muslims are teaching. But you can use these comment, comments to show how Islam might influence people's behavior and how that's affecting people's... Uh, how, how does like the Quran and Hadith reflect on the way like Islamic scholars think, for example, right? Um, so wait, who is this by, by the way? Uh, this is by Sayyid Qasim Mushtaba Musavi uh, Kamon Puri. That, this guy has a very la long name. This is the book. You can see the book here. You can see the credentials. This is... Um, is this the guy? Right. Yeah, okay, good. So this one is saying, so apparently there is like, based on a lot of opinions I've seen also, is like, you could, so this is why I say most Muslims are also doing shirk, right? Because this is like the less, like, so this comment is saying, one who offers the ritual prayers um, in ostentatious way is a polytheist. One who keeps the fast or gives alms or performs the Hajj to show the public his righteousness or to earn good name is a polytheist. Basically, they're saying that they're more shrinks. You can see that, by the way, you can, you can see the citation and everything here, okay? But the understanding is, again, this is not Islam canon, but the, Islam, the understanding is that you could basically go around and say, La ilaha illallah and not mean it right so that's one example like you, as long as you have other priorities right but here's another one right this guy who is this guy this guy is muhammad ibn lubyad this is again this is if you look at this this is saying allah's messenger said this muhammad said this but if you actually look at the citation it doesn't mention Sahih Muslim or Sahih Bukhari. So I don't know how authentic of a hadith this is. But don't, you know, take it with a grain of salt. But again, you can see that these opinions exist. So this guy is saying a lot that Muhammad said, the thing I fear you the most is Ashrik al Askar. So basically, shirk means, well, you guys know what shirk means. I already told you. Askar means lesser or lower. So the lesser of the shirk. So apparently we have higher shirk and lower shirk. Primary shirk and secondary shirk. Oh, here, oh, here, it says minor shirk, okay? So apparently Muhammad told this dude that what I fear for you most, again, you can see that this is not authentic because there's so many hadiths that Muhammad said, like, I fear you for you the most. So many different things. Like, which one is it? Which one is it the most? Because you can't have more than one most, right? But here's another thing that Muhammad apparently fears for us the most um, is, okay, so he said, I fear like the minor shirk and the, the companions ask Muhammad, ask the messenger of Allah, what is a minor shirk? And he replied, a riya. riya. Riya means like showing off. Okay? Show off. Showing off for verily Allah will say on the day of resurrection when people are receiving their rewards, go to those for whom you were showing off in the material world and see if you can find any reward for them. 
And here's another one. All people be, be aware of secret shirk. So I think this whole minor shirk and secret. So basically, the expl there's explicit shirk and there is implicit shirk. <laughs> so the explicit shirk is like Hindus, right? So Hindus are like explicitly like, oh, Ganesh, I worship Ganesh. That's like in your face, obvious point to worshiping an idol, more shrek, God, yeah, hell, eternal hellfire, obvious, no questions asked. That is, of you know, you point to, so basically this is Muhammad acting like the Wokistani people, right? What the hell is this guy talking about? Hold on. Um, because you know how the Wokistani people say, like, we're not talking about the Triple K people, we're not talking about lynching and stuff. That's obvious racism. That's explicit racism. We're not talking about the people that just look at a black person and say the N-word, right? What the main racism that we care about is like implicit, systemic, hidden racism, right? So Muhammad was basically doing doing the Wokistani thing way before Wokistani was a thing, right? So Muhammad is saying like, it's easy to point to the person that is like bowing down to like a golden calf or something and be like, ah, oh, that's shirk. That's like the, the main shirk, the obvious explicit shirk, okay? That is like, the, basically Muhammad is complaining about systemic shirk. <laughs> Okay, Muhammad is like, we have, the main concern that we have is systemic shirk, okay? Systemic shirk within the world that is hard to notice because it's still affecting us. It's built within the system when people care about money and wealth and showing off their, like, Lamborghini and they're, like, going on traveling and showing that, you know, posting pictures of their of their like lavish life and the places they visit that is like that is like that's affecting it like yeah we managed to get like look people are not worshiping idolaters here in arabia right now but does that mean we got rid of shirk no that's what you want if it just has gone it's just it's more subtle than it right now okay so because muhammad noticed that we got rid of shirk explicit shirk at this time he was like no we need to still fight shirk just like the Wokistani people are saying, like, you know how race, explicit racism has gone down? No, it, it, like, it hasn't gone away. It's just gone implicit. It's become systemic, okay? So it's still an issue, okay? Not that I'm not, yeah, but not that I'm saying that they don't have a point in some places. I'm not saying that, right? But this just sounds similar to me, okay? Muhammad is like, no, people are still, people are still doing shirk. It's just they're not worshiping idols. They're just doing it in a more secret way, in a minor way. Is systemic shirk. We just we need to make that a word, like right? systemic shirk. Mm, okay, let me see. So, oh people, beware of secret shirk. The people ask, oh messenger of Allah, what is secret shirk? He replied, when a man gets up to pray and strives to beautify his prayers because people are looking at him, that is secret shirk. So you so basically, shirk means having partners to God. So if you're praying and you're like, I hope people notice how good of a Muslim I am. So that means you're not praying for God. That is not means you're not praying for the sake of Allah. That means you're praying for the sake of being noticed as a good Muslim. And that is putting. Why is that shirk? People are like, wait, what is? Why is that shirk? Shirk means like having partners with Allah. It, how is praying? and hoping other people notice you, how is that partnering anybody with Allah? Because you're putting other people's opinion close to Allah's opinion or above Allah's opinion, right? So if you're, like, based on this standard, if you go to work, if, if you go through your day and you say, like, I hope my boss recognizes today how good of a worker I am so I might get a raise, if you f go, through, go through one day thinking about that but not go throughout the day thinking, I hope Allah is pleased with me. So you could be full on Muslim, full on praying five times a day, fasting, everything. But if you go through a day and think, don't ask yourself if Allah is pleased with me today, but think like, 
I hope my mom is happy with me today. I hope my teacher no, like gives me a grade A today. I hope I get a raise for my boss today. That is shirk. That is shirk. You're a mushrik. Congratulations. Eternal hellfire for you, mushrik.